The Fortnite player base isn't afraid to voice their opinions, especially when talking about seasons. But there are some seasons out there that I think receive way too much hate. So in today's video, join me as we discuss the most overhated Fortnite seasons of all time. With a ranking of 6.7 out of 10, it seems like everyone is hating on this season in some form or another. But for me, Chapter 5 Season 2 stands out as one of my favorite seasons in the entire game. For me, the loot pool is the most important part of the season, and in Season 2 we had some solid weapons like the Warforged Assault Rifle, the Thunderburst SMG, and the Gatekeeper Shotgun. We also had some seasonal items in the loot pool, such as the Wings of Icarus, Zeus's Lightning Bolt, and the Chain of Hades. Additionally, we had some beloved classics return to the loot pool, like the drum gun, the hand cannon, as well as my favorite with a tactical AR. Now the map for season 2 was solid as well, with the addition of two new biomes on the map, featuring locations like Mount Olympus, Brawler's Battleground, and the Underworld. Also, the battle pass for season 2 was one of my favorite battle passes in recent memory. But overall, season 2 was a phenomenal season in my opinion, and with time I really hope that the player base comes to appreciate the season. Ranked by the community as a 4.7 out of 10, I think that Chapter 3 Season 4 is one of the most underrated seasons that we've ever had. I love the loot pool during the season, as the introduction of new weapons like the Chrome AR, the Chrome Shotgun, and the Goo Gun added a refreshing twist to the gameplay. And we also had returns of classic weapons to the loot pool, such as the SMG, the Hunter Bolt Sniper, and more. The introduction of the Chrome for Season 4 helped the season feel very unique. For starters, the map was being consumed by the Chrome, resulting in points of interest being suspended above the air. And not only was the map affected by chrome, but it also affected gameplay with the addition of chrome splashes. You could use these splashes to turn yourself into a chrome blob, which is one of my favorite gameplay mechanics that we've ever had. And I know the season had an underwhelming fort nightmares, and the conclusion of the chapter with the fractured event wasn't as great as we expected. I still think the season as a whole is extremely overhated. Rated by the community as a 6.4 out of 10, Chapter 4 Season 2 is often overlooked, but I firmly believe that it's one of the best seasons that we've ever had. The introduction of Mega City to the map was a game changer for me as it quickly became one of my favorite points of interest that we've ever had. I also think that Chapter 4 Season 2 has one of the most underrated battle passes, featuring some standout skins like Mizuki, Stray, and Mystica. The loot pool was also another standout for me, with notable additions such as the Havoc Assault Rifle and the Havoc pump shotgun. And let's not forget about the kinetic blade, which exceeded expectations that players had for the seasonal item, following the introduction of the beloved shockwave hammer in season 1. And to top it off, we had one of the best events in the entire game with the find the force event, which made me love the season even more. So with all these factors considered, I think chapter 4 season 2 is very overhated by the community, and it's truly a great season that deserves more praise. Now despite its ranking of a 6.3 out of 10 by the community, Chapter 2 Season 8 deserves more recognition in my opinion. We had some solid map changes with Season 8, such as the Sideways, Cube Town, and the spread of cubes corrupting various areas across the map. I also think that the Battle Pass is extremely overhated, as it offers some of my favorite skins in the entire game, such as Charlotte and Torin, as well as some entertaining meme skins such as JP Chimpansky, Tuna Fish, and Fabio Sparklemane. And while the loot pool in Season Season 8 was relatively solid, featuring returning weapons like the Dragon Breath Sniper, the Charged Shotgun, and the Automatic Sniper. I wasn't very impressed with the new weapons for the season with the sideways weapons. However, despite these minor drawbacks with the loot pool, the season was pretty solid overall, highlighted by one of my favorite Fort Nightmares events of all time. We also had some of my favorite mythics in the entire game, with the Venom Mythic as well as the Carnage Mythic. And even though they were extremely broken, they were still a great addition to the season. So be sure to let me know down in the comments below what seasons you think are overhated. But until next time, as always, take care and stay twisty.